How's it going everybody? Today we are going to install the CE Smith 40 inch heavy duty post guides on my John boat here. Uh, so we're going to do a little installation video. So let's start off by showing you all the hardware that you get in the box along with the box itself. Okay, right here we have the the two 20 inch by 17 inch upright brackets. You got your two guide posts. Um, they actually measure 31 and a half inches themselves, but once you get them on the guide post uh, with this stop bracket, with this stop thing right here, it equals 40 inches. We have, let me get this box out of the way. You have your uh, two metal brackets here, two post caps. And then you got your four U-bolts, two straight U-bolts and two bolts, two U-bolts that have the, um, the little V or U in there. So each one of these get paired up. So they fit flush. Then you got your eight washers and your eight nuts. So probably gonna probably gonna mount them right here on both sides. So let's uh, let's get to the installation. Hold that in place, throw a quick quick nut and washer on there. Washer and nut. Got all four on there. So now I just gotta tighten it down. Alrighty, I got the first side on. So let's check it out. So I did the above the rail install because this channel is wider than this bracket. Uh, but putting it above the rail, I figured added a little bit extra height to the post. Uh, so I thought that was also good. Uh, I made sure when I when I bolted it down here that I had a little bit of space in between the spring. I didn't want to be in, in the spring's way. The bolts... You bolt heights ain't won't interfere with the boat, but I will trim those off uh, tomorrow or at another date. I'll trim those down to the height of probably flush with the bracket. Um, and then you got the post right here. I made sure when I installed it, I took in consideration a little bit of a curve into the in the John boat, but I also you know left about a finger gap there so uh, they're not wobbly they're very steady so they're not gonna wobble going down the road uh, and that's how you got a little channel cut into the so 
So the installation con consisted of um, consisted of a 15 millimeters. What I used uh, long socket, deep socket, whatever you want to call those, uh, till till the bolts got too big, and then I went to just a straight wrench. I don't have any. Um, I don't have the right power tools, so I just did the old manual way. It took a little bit longer, but um, it worked out. So I'm going to put the other side on and then we'll look at the finished product. And then one of my biggest concerns and the reason I bought these was when uh, the boat's not on the trailer, I'm backing up the trailer, I couldn't see, you can't see the trailer at all. And I like to see my trailer through the back window. So we're going to put that to the test also when I get the second one on is get it hooked to the trail, the truck and... If I could see those posts out of my back window is is what I'm hoping for and uh, we'll let you know what happens here in a minute alrighty so putting this one on you learn from your mistakes a little bit um, it's easier to put these u-bolts on And, and just get them started before you put the darn pipe on the, the bracket the L bracket for the post so, so I'm just gonna get those nuts started um, and get them as tight as I can and then I'll put the post in in, in a little bit so Like I said, we're just doing it the old fashioned way. All right, I got the second second side on and I realized that my boat wasn't totally centered on the trailer. So these posts, so the L bracket, the L bracket here, the L bracket here actually touches, I put it all the way in so it touches my my bunk uh, the wood for my for the bunk on both sides I centered the boat on both sides once again I'm gonna shave those bolts off but I centered the boat on both sides and now the gap because it hits my bunk the gap on each side is two and a quarter inches which which is fine it's 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 what uh, I'm happy with that like I said these things are sturdy they don't wiggle or jiggle anywhere so once again you can see the bracket touches the bunk which is fine and we got a nice nice gap there so all in all I'm happy with the installation the last thing to do is hook it to the truck and Hopefully we could see it out the back windows see the the post out the back windows if not I'll have to put on a little bit longer post, but Hopefully I don't have to do that. So let's See if we could see it <laughs> uh, I, As you can clearly see I could see the posts outside my rear view mirror And I could outside my back window. I mean and I could see them in the rear view mirror very well so with that being the final test, I'm very happy with this installation. Uh, very easy installation. It would have be, been even faster if I would have had the appropriate power tools. Uh, but my biggest concern was being at, if those 40 inch posts were high enough that I could see them out of my rear view mirror. So go ahead and like this video if you like this installation video have any questions or comments leave them below and subscribe to the channel and you'll continue to see these installation videos reviews how to's um, we do a little bit of everything here thanks for watching